the downforce is actually similar to an airplane if you want, uh, except that we try to drag it down, they would try to lift it up. Uh, so basically we have the wings they have, we have them flipped around. Uh, many people think we get pressed down, but it's actually we get sucked down. So um, we always try to get as much uh, wind under the car because we also have the floor, uh, the diffuser uh, that makes a difference. Um, that also gives us a uh, lot of downfalls actually. I mean, uh, we didn't have that in the F4. Uh, so it's the first time I, or the first year that I'm actually driving with that. And it also gives us the possibility to follow up uh, a car closer. Um, without losing too much uh, downforce. We have uh, Silverstone, Monza, you know, tracks that are very high speed, like straights, you know, where we try to gain as much speed as possible on the straights. Uh, we'll try to go for low downforce settings, so basically in small wings um, and try to, yeah, to gain as much speed uh, in the straights as possible. Uh, then we have different tracks like Nürburgring, Budapest, or uh, tracks that are, you know, maybe not as quick on the straights or don't have as long straights, but therefore a lot of, uh, yeah, change of directions and, uh, you know, fast uh, following corners. Uh, there we will go for a higher downforce setting just to be able to, yeah, to carry as much speed through the, through the corners um, as possible and gain the time there instead of gaining or trying to gain it on the straight. Uh, it's very, yeah, difficult because we have to find the right compromise between uh, well top speed and uh, and corner speed. So I mean, it doesn't make sense to be flat everywhere in every corner and uh, you know be too slow on the straights because you will the lap time will be too slow basically. But at a certain point, you have to find you know the the right measure between speed in the corners and uh, top speed in, in the straights.